Discover Boating and Progressive present the top safe boating tips. Let's anchor down our knowledge and raise the sail of safety. All hands on deck as we dive into the essential protocols every captain, first mate, passenger and deckhand should know to fuel up with confidence. Hey boaters, today I'm going to be going over how to safely refuel your boat. We're sailing through the ins and outs of fueling your boat safely. Let's make sure those boating adventures stay safe and fire free. Fueling up sounds simple, but it's more than just a fill and go. Gasoline vapors, which are heavier than air, can spread rapidly into your boat's enclosed spaces. How do you detect them? Trust your nose. The sniff method is truly the best way to detect fuel leaks or spillage. Make sure you're securely moored to the dock. Engines, switched off. Open flames, all extinguished. All the electrics, including the ignition, definitely off to avoid sparking those sneaky vapors. With gasoline in the air, no smoking is crucial. Same for keeping ports, hatches, and doors closed too. Next up, all of our trusted crew and guests should disembark and take a break ashore while you refuel. So how can we avoid fueling fiascos? Only use the right fuel for your boat. And that includes knowing how much ethanol is in your gasoline, especially if you're refueling on land at a gas station. Knowing the amount and type of fuel you need is essential. Misfueling can lead to engine damage, spoiled days on the water, and even void warranties. It might not be covered by your insurance if human error is involved. I always recommend checking your boat and engine owner's manual to match the appropriate fuel type to your boat engine specs. Gasoline and diesel fuels may often contain a blend of ethanol. However, for boats, higher blends of ethanol can affect performance, fuel economy, and even safety. Many newer marine engines can safely use E10, which is 10% ethanol, but always be 100% sure that the fuel you're using is intended for your unique boat. As you start fueling, maintain a firm grasp on that hose nozzle against the fill pipe opening. And remember, it's not about reaching the absolute top. Overfilling can be hazardous, causing spillage or worse. Today's boats use a lot less fuel and it's important to keep fuel out of the water to ensure that we continue protecting the water that we all cherish. Have a fuel absorbing cloth ready, especially when removing the nozzle. If you spill, wipe it up immediately. Act quickly to absorb and dispose in designated locations. If a spill happens, report it immediately to the U.S. Coast Guard National Response Center. After fueling, get some good ventilation going around the boat. Open up the ports, hatches, and doors and check the bilge to ensure it's free of fuel. Turn on your blower for at least four minutes and don't forget that sniff test that we talked about at the start. Now we're good to start the engine. Revive the fun. Now you can reboard your passengers carefully. Finally, untie and set off to enjoy your boating safely. Bearing all these things in mind, fueling up becomes a safe routine part of our boating adventures. Let's keep our water safe and enjoy every voyage. Until the next time, see you out here.